Welcome to Nicholas LMNX12. Today I'll be comparing the new Intel i7-6900K 8-core Broadwell eCPU with the i7-6700K Quad-Core Skylake CPU. Both very powerful processors, but what about the performance difference? Does the 6700K even have a chance? Let's find out. Thanks a lot to Aurelius at the importer, first of all, for allowing me to run some quick tests with his new CPU. Right now he's only managed to get his hands on that 6900K, but he'll try to get the rest of the lineup as well for my testing purposes. Currently at the time of this video there is a huge price difference between the 6900K and the 6700K. By huge I mean really huge. But is that price premium really worth it? How much more performance can we expect from the 6900K over the 6700K? We also have to factor in the more expensive motherboards these broad will eCPUs go with after all. So on to the benchmark. Then. Clearly the i7-6900K is an immensely powerful beast of a CPU. I wonder how well the 10-core version, the 6950X would perform. But yeah, at productivity, rendering and encoding, the clear winner without any doubt has to be the 6900K. Still the 6700K Skylake holds up fairly well too. I'm often getting the impression this might be the overall better CPU and well it actually is. It's a mainstream CPU whereas the 6900K obviously is an extreme processor that is meant for heavy usage where more cores can be utilized. With that said, getting the 6900K just for gaming purposes makes little to no sense. Sure it does a lot better than its predecessor the 5960X in that aspect, but still not quite as good as the speedy 6700K quad core. I still think the 6700K is a legendary CPU and an all rounder basically. After all we also have to factor in the motherboard costs. The LJ2011 platform is not really that cheap. The power consumption with the 6900K is surprisingly low compared to the one of the 6700 700K. I mean it increased over the one of the 5960X but it's just a few more watts over the 6700K for quite a bit more performance mainly on the productivity side of things. Price performance wise, clearly the winner is the i7-6700K however. But in the end it comes down to the user's needs and how much you can and want to pay for a CPU and well the motherboard. I hope you enjoyed this quick comparison video and found it somewhat useful. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.